Welcome to neutral side action, and we're just about ready for kickoff. Let's head down to the coin sauce now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. See how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 20 yard line. The Sooners have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. He's taken down right around the 32-yard line. Impressive gain there by the do-it-all back. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That brings up second and five. First down grab by the receiver, and they make the stop at the 48-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Mike 13. Mike 13. There he goes. Brought down at the 33. Gain of 12 yards. First down. From the 33-yard line. First down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. complete over the middle. Tackle made at the 19-yard line. There you go. Good read by the quarterback to give the offense a new set of downs. If the defense wants to line up and man, work that slant route until they stop it. He's tackled around the six-yard line. That makes it first and goal. He's taken down at the four-yard line. Game of two on the play. That brings up second and goal. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Check nine, check nine. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. It's third and goal from the three. And this is a very big play for both teams. Touchdown, OU! This back has great vision, which allows him to make runs like this one we just saw. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So an 11 play, 80 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, seven nothing. Brought down at the 25. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. He gets sacked on the play. 
Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. Stout awaits the snap. He really got a hold of that one. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. <laughs> this offensive coordinator's got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from this quarterback and his wide receiver. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. From their own 49-yard line, second down. Oklahoma is up seven. Here's the halfback, and he's brought down hard behind the line. the 48 yard line that's going to bring up fourth down just a great job by the defense these guys are disguising their defense so well that they're confusing the quarterback and the offensive line and again they provided great pressure on the play and the offense just wasn't able to get the first down he was able to deaden that kick perfectly and he gives them a long field to work with you never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Got it complete, he's out of bounds. Excellent play as the quarterback found his receiver for a big game. Well, give credit here to the receiver for finding that seam and coming up with a nice game for the offense. And he throws it away. from their own 27-yard line. Second down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Knocked out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Quick strike to the receivers. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. They come out on an empty backfield. And down he goes at the 40. Throws incomplete, broken up. Excellent pass defense. Got to be able to make a lightning quick reaction to bat the ball away like he did right there. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 40. Runs it left for a decent game. Just gets rid of it. That's going to bring up fourth down. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Stout to punt. And this one is a beauty. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. We're about set to start things up again. Oklahoma is up a score. Makes it out to about the 29. That's a gain of nine on the play. That brings up second and one. And it carries the ball for a nice game. That's good for a gain of four yards. First down.
finds his man. First down. Brooks with the tackle at the 37 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Quick strike and he drops it. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Cut. Easy, 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 easy. Cut. Scrambling around. <laughs> They'll bring him down at the 43. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. That'll bring up third and inches. Waiting the return. Oh, excellent punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Oklahoma's defense really came to play early in this football game. Well, they've done a good job here early, but you know eventually this offense is going to start clicking. Let's see if this defense can sustain this for the rest of the game. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's under pressure. Let's it go. And he's tackled at about the 47-yard line. So it's second and ten. Ball in their own 47. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 48-yard line. Pulls it in and is immediately pushed out. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. He's out of bounds to the 39 yard line. Gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Complete pass and hit hard as he came down with it. George picks up about four yards with a catch. It's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit. It's up, looks long enough, and he got it. Great snap and a perfect hold, and he just had an awesome follow through. Everything went right there on that long field goal. 7-3, Oklahoma. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Oklahoma holds a four-point lead. And he's stopped behind the line. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Oh. 
Now he tries to buy some time. He's taken down at the 29. He gets rid of this one. So that'll make it fourth down. Yeah, they just couldn't connect on a pass there. That was a very good stand by this defense. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. In the shotgun and five wideouts. And a quick throw. And he's level at the 49. Five wide. There's a strike complete, and they make the stop at the 48. Throws it in a hurry, and he hits him hard at the 41-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it third and one. They work the outside. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That's a gain of four on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 28 yard line. We played one quarter. The Sooners lead 7-3. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. He gets out to about the 25-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. Defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Fourth down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. It has the distance, and he splits the uprights. Penn State kicked this one off. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Oklahoma, up a point. Brought down at about the 33-yard line. The tackle at the 33 yard line. That makes it second and two. Let's go! Has some daylight. Up the middle for a nice game. Game of four yards. First down. Slings it. 
Tackle made at about the 41. Call it a gain of four yards. That brings up second and five. Throws it out right to the running back. He's tackled at the 42. throws this one away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. It's away and it's a booming punt. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Decides to slide. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll make it second and seven. Mark 38! Mark 38! Mark 38! Throws to the receiver, incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires. From their own 30 yard line, third down. Let's make these babies cry all the way here. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. Stout is waiting for the snap. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. They'll bring him down at the 32. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Oklahoma with a one-point lead. And they got it. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. Number five at the tackle at the 40-yard line. That'll bring up 32. Caught with room to work. Tackle at the 50-yard line. Way brings him down at the 50-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Just throws this one away. From the 50, second down. He goes out of bounds at the 48-yard line. Passes left, gets it out to the halfback. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's knocked out of bounds. Right around the 38-yard line. Throws it out and all. Oh, he's hit hard for a loss. From the 40-yard line, second down. They come out on an empty backfield. Here we go. 
And down he goes at the 39. Oklahoma is up one. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. He's at the 20. They'll bring him down right around the 14-yard line. And he's immediately tackled. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. That brings up second and goal. And this is the 12th play of the drive. And he's tackled around the four-yard line. Touchdown, Sooners. It shouldn't have surprised these guys to see the run coming at them, but they just couldn't stop it. And he hits the PAT. It was a 13-play, 69-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. So the score now, 14-6. Excellent kick. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He's to the 20. And he's tackled at the 24-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's good for a game of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. He's to the 40. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Nice run there. a great tackle at the 35-yard line. Nice run to the outside. Gain of five on the play. That brings up second and five. Second and five. Ball on the 30. Three down, three down. Mike 38, Mike 38. He's got it out to his tight end. He's taken down at about the 23-yard line. Nice gain as he works the right side. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. Nice run, and he's brought down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers.
Steps out of bounds around the nine yard line. He makes it to the six yard line. Hopefully he's going to be okay. It's the 11th play of the drive. The Nittany Lions running back taken out earlier, sideline with that injury. However, it looks like he's going to be able to come back in this game. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. From their own 33-yard line, first down. The Nittany Lions had one of their key guys go down earlier. But it looks like he might be able to return. He's hit and taken down. Call it a gain of 10 yards. That brings up second and nine. Oklahoma is up by eight. Here he goes. Makes it out to about the 49. That's good for a gain of eight yards. First down. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. And they make the stop at the 35. That's a gain of 14 yards on the play. First down. Like 13, like 13. He's got him, he's got him. He gets to about the 24-yard line. That's a gain of 11 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Play clocks at zero. They took too much time. Delay of game, offense. Possibly some miscommunication there. Time. They can't get the playoff, and it'll cost them a few. So the penalty will make it first and 15. He's out of bounds around the 24-yard line. Well-designed route and a confidently thrown football by the quarterback. You need those things to make any offense work. Gets to about the 24-yard line. Oklahoma up by eight. Going for it all to the end zone. Touchdown, OU. Nicely designed play to the wide receiver, and it got him six. You said it, Brad, in a good time to call it. I tip my hat to the offensive coordinator. And he adds the extra point. A seven-play, 71-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He'll return it from the three. And he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Brown, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 27-yard line. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. 
completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Five wide. He's under pressure. The Sooners use their second timeout. And this one is a beauty. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. The Sooners right now are getting the play out of their quarterback that they expected, maybe even better than they expected. And now, as we get near halftime, there's going to have to be some adjustments made on the other side of the ball. Well, the defense has got to be happy we're getting close to halftime so they can go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a way to slow down this quarterback. Uh, I think that more often than not, you look back at the first half and you think about, okay, let's eliminate this, this, and this, and let's maybe try a completely different way of, of trying to attack him. In my opinion, they've got to take some chances and be more aggressive in trying to put pressure on him. What they've done so far hasn't worked. Throwing left. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He scrambled. Brought down at the 42-yard line. Easy, 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 easy. Check, 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 check. Let's go. Let's go. Red, 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 red. And he's got his receiver. It's the sophomore. quickly and he's got his man and he hits him hard at the 14 yard line the field goal units out on the field they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime kicks up and he's got it they might just want to squib this one only a few seconds left here before halftime From his own goal line. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 30-yard line. We played a half of football. Oklahoma leads 24-6. We played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This margin at halftime is not at all what we expected to see between two evenly matched teams. This game's gotten a ton of attention leading up to it. How easy is it, David, for a team to kind of get let down after getting all of that attention after a first half? Well, I, I kept hearing Reese Davis and Kirk Herbstreet and, and Nestler talk all week about how this game was going to be so good. And now, now I'm in this game and I'm getting kicked around and I got no response for it. So I think once you're told that you belong on this stage and you've been told that your team is great, you got to prove it. And if you don't step up and prove it, now you're down three scores at the half. I mean, you won't be favored in many games and there won't be many guys on TV talking about how good you are and how evenly matched because right now you're outclassed. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Fred and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Oklahoma's coaching staff will go out tonight. I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of five yards. Man left, man left. That brings up second and five. Two down, two down. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. He's tackled at the 44 yard line.
Here's the pitch, and now the ball is free. Defense has it. It's one of the corners to the 10. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. Defensive touchdowns give teams such a big morale lift. This is a really nice play to grab the loose ball and take it the distance. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 28. Penn State's getting stopped right now. They're unable to get anything going here in the third quarter. Well, I think what they have to do at this point is they've got to get into a little bit more of a hurry-up mode, a little bit more urgency, score, and hope that the defense can come up with a stop and hope you can get the ball back and put more points on. They'll spread the field with five wide. He throws a dart to the left. And he's taken down around the 41-yard line. And that play could have gone for six. Oh, boy, you're right. And all week long, this secondary did a lot of talking about how they were going to dominate these receivers. I think this is time that they step up and prove it on the field. Forget about talking trash. Let's see how they react after giving up that big play. No gain on the play. Now will bring up second down 11. And he is drilled at the 34-yard line. That's a game of seven in the play. That makes it third and three. They come out in a five-wide set. Tackle at the 26. First down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Quick throw, and he's got his receiver again. Tackle made around the 17-yard line. Number 11 makes the tackle at the 17-yard line. That makes it. Now let's see if the third time's a charm down here in the red zone. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Number 12 was the intended receiver. Third down again. The Nittany Lions had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. Gets out to around the nine. That makes it first and goal. Up the middle for a nice game. Up second and goal. Roger, Roger. Watch 14. Watch 14. And down he goes at the one yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it third and goal. They'll bring him down at the three-yard line. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That brings up fourth and goal. It's fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. Kicks away, and they tack on three points. Penn State to kick. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Oklahoma's just rolling along and showing no signs right now, slowing down here in the third quarter. I think a big thing that you're seeing right now is just the way they're playing with confidence, especially the quarterback. I think they are very, very confident with every play call that it has a chance to be able to move the football down and continue to be able to put points up on the board. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Loss of two. That'll bring up second and 12.
It's second and 12. Ball on the 23-yard line. He just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Going deep. Lays it out there. That close to being intercepted. Johnson breaks up the pass. That makes it fourth and 12. Dotson back deep to return. It's away and it's a booming punt. Dotson fields it at the 30 and he's hammered down. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. He's into the open field. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 49-yard line. Makes it out to about the 40. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That makes it first and ten. From the 35-yard line. First down. Taken down right around the 24 yard line. On the throw, incomplete pass. From the 24 yard line, second down. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. That's pretty much the best way to make sure the receiver doesn't catch it. He just put his pads on him the second he touched it. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. He gets it up, and he got it. The Nittany Lions lost one of their key guys earlier to that injury, and unfortunately, I don't think he's going to play any more football today. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. Taken down immediately. Call the game of six yards. Mike 13. Mike 13. Rose. And it's intercepted. And who else? It's the senior safety. Brad, this week these coaches told us about how they want their players to fight and really be determined. 
Here they are down by a couple scores, and the defense comes up with a big interception, showing that character that their coaches wanted to see. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. They come out on an empty backfield. And they make the stop at the 44. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. And he's tackled at the 35. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. That makes it first and ten. He gets out to about the 11 yard line. Kane up the gut. He makes it to the nine. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's in for the score, and they're back in it. Nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. That's perfect timing between a quarterback and his wide receiver. He recognized the middle of the field was wide open, and I really thought the quarterback kind of looked the safety off to open that play up to the middle and then made the perfect throw for the touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. Stop. Has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Penn State's playing much better on the defensive side of the ball here in the third quarter. Well, Brad, I think what I've seen is they were just doing too much in the first half. They've streamlined their attack, and I think it's made it a little bit easier for their players to understand what to do, and they're playing a lot faster. Now, here comes the offense, and you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. Game two yards. First down. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Scrambling around. Brought down. That's the 42. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Five wide. He tackles him for a loss. from their own 38-yard line. Third down. Now he tries to buy some time, and he's gonna come up with a sack. Dotson is back deep to return. Dotson fields it at the 26, and he's taken down at the 35-yard line. 
These guys came up with a touchdown on their last drive, and they'll be hoping for another six on the board here. Great passing was the key for the offense the last time they had the ball. They were able to pick apart the defense and get down the field for a touchdown. He steps out at the 39. They'll spread the field with five wide. Gets out to around the 38. Makes it to the 27. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. So at the end of the third quarter, Oklahoma leads 31-19. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Three down, three down. Mark 38, Mark 38, Mark 38. There he goes. And he hits him hard at the 14. Side. He gets out to about the nine yard line. They come out in a five wide set. Quick throw. He's tackled at the two yard line. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And they'll bring him down behind the line. The way the safety was playing up toward the line of scrimmage shows you what they think of the offense's passing game. Not a lot of respect for it. So the offense stays on the field here. It's fourth and goal from the four. Pressure coming and the ball is loose. And it's scooped up by the running back. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 13. Strike 
like and he drops it. That would have been pretty remarkable if he'd managed to hold on to the ball after taking a shot like that. And he's tackled right away. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. Tackle at the 30. And four on the play. That makes it second and six. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And he tackles him hard at the 30-yard line. They go back to him on a quick throw. Tackle made at the 47-yard line. That makes it first and ten. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That'll bring up second and twelve. And this play is number eight on the drive. He's at the 40. Nice grab on the play. And down he goes around the 37 yard line. That'll bring up third and inches. Got his receiver, dropped it, incomplete. Number 83, the intended receiver on the play. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. It has the distance. No good, he hooked it right. All it takes is a split second of something going wrong. A low snap, a bad hold, a slip, and you've got a miss to the right or the left. They're set to go for another round. Quick throw, incomplete. Wanted his receiver. From their own 41 yard line. Third down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down around the 47 yard line. They come out in an empty backfield. Grabs it and hammered right there. Game of two on the play. That brings up second and nine. Set a tone, fellas. Let's set a tone. And a quick throw. He's knocked out of bounds at about the 43 yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He makes the catch and has a first down. Gets it out to him again. That's a great tackle at the 32-yard line. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 32-yard line. He's hit and taken down. Zips it to the back. Tries 
to pitch it, and now the ball is loose. It's recovered. Kirk, what happened on the option play there? Well, you got to give credit to the defense. They knew what was coming, and they came up and made the play. We're about set to start things up again. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Third down now, and they need to get it out to midfield. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He airs it out. Intercepted. And he is drilled at the 16. from their own 16-yard line. First down. Hands off up the middle and stuffed. That was a loss of two yards. That'll bring up second and 12. Five wide. And he shoved out of bounds around the 19-yard line. Broke away from one. And he's got it. He's taken down at the 40-yard line. First and ten. Darts it to the right. They'll spread the field with five wide. Very good tackle in space. Less than three minutes in the game. Touchdown, Penn State! And did that play ever develop nicely? Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. And he adds the extra point. Penn State yet set to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. It's been a good day for this defensive lineman, really showing off his skills. Well, he has tremendous quickness, and overall, I think he's just been a big headache for this offensive line the entire game. It's getting to the point now where it's just men against boys. This offensive line can almost try to do anything that they want. The thing I always say is that when you're on recess and you're in eighth grade, and there's this one big guy that nobody else can block, and he's just bigger, stronger, and faster, that, that's, that's what a dominant defensive player can do to him. They just can't. There's nothing they can do to stop him. Needed that play, and he dropped it. Number 11 was the intended receiver on the play. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Right 
pressured and brought down. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Third and 12 coming up on this one. Ball on the 23. Just under three to go in regulation. hit before he can go anywhere. Penn State's going to take their first time out of the hat. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. A little laundry on the field, and we'll find out whose it is. Receiving team. Time's running out now as the offense comes back out. Got to have their sights on the end zone right now. There's not enough time to be sure that they can get the ball back. From their own 45-yard line, it's first down. Dumps it complete over the middle. Brought down right around midfield. to the tailback and he's tackled at the 49 yard line and they'll lose a yard there they really just didn't have any room to work on that play the defense just suffocated him there Just a huge stop right there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say that won the ball game. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. Just over a minute left. And they make the stop around the 40-yard line. Penn State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. From the 40-yard line, it's second down. They come out in a five-wide set. He sails it long. the delayed handoff. Nice run there as they work the outside. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. And he's hit immediately. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Johnson was the intended receiver on the play. This is the 10th play of this drive. He steps out around the 27-yard line. Third down, and they need to get it to the 19. They come out on an empty backfield. These tackles around the 15-yard line. Oh, 
Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. You got to think the way that offense dug deep to get the lead here this late in the fourth quarter, that might translate over and give enough emotion to their defense to win the football game. You don't really gain anything by kicking the extra point here, so they'll go for two and try to go up by three. Penn State is up one. He's in for the conversion. So a 12-play, 56-yard drive, and they add eight points to their total. Brad, how about the guys up front? The offensive line giving the quarterback plenty of time to be able to read the defense and make the right throw. I wouldn't be surprised if they just squib it here. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Sooners have got to be just a little bit careful that they lean too much on a star player here in this stage of the game. Yeah, but having a quarterback that understands what this defense wants to try to do to slow this offense down is very, very important. Now he's just got to stay calm, make good decisions, and move his offense down the field. He's scrambling. And he hits him hard at the 25-yard line. The Sooners taking their first time out of the half. So it's second and 10. Ball on their own 25. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Steps out of bounds around the 28-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it 37. Watch 14. Watch 14. Aaron and out long. That tackle just sealed the deal. And the ball game's over. The Nittany Lions take this one. 34-31. 34. The Sooners. 31. So that wraps things up for us. Free A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.